Good. All right, walk ahead. What'd you think? Um, the second half of the test was much better than the first half. Wow. That's um, exactly what I was going to say. Just <laughs> the first half just was a little quick. You know yeah. what I mean? Things were just kind of running together mm -hmm. a little bit fast. And then the two of you guys seemed to have taken a deep yeah. breath, and then everything was much quieter. Yeah. And you can tell by going down the center line, he halted just perfectly mm -hmm. straight, okay? And when he goes in there, you make sure from the beginning, if he's going to be a little quick like that, you take control of it a yeah. little bit, okay? And be like, hey, listen, we need to slow down a little bit. Because mm -hmm. the thing of the draw slash test is that once it gets kind of running like that, it goes from one movement to another movement yeah. to another. And you don't notice until, you know, you do your walk across or whatever, and you get a stretch and you get a moment to kind of go, yeah. okay, you know, let's get going. Well, you know what? Take one movement in the beginning of your draw slash test to do that, okay? Even if okay. you make a mistake in that beginning part, that one movement, Make your mistake in that one movement, and then, you know, the rest of your movements will be good, okay? Okay. Don't let it run into four or five movements kind of going through your draw slash test, okay? You know, so that's just what I would do right from the start. And then when you come down the center line and he's feeling that way, you make sure that you look at the judge, take a deep breath. Just the two of you guys are like, okay, we're good, and you can kind of work your way through your draw slash test, okay? I'm going to have you start your draw slash test again, okay? And I'm just going to start picking away at you as you trot around. And I'll make you kind of redo a bunch of the movements as we're going along, okay? Thank you.